I never asked to get tied up in this mess. But when destiny calls, you answer. It was just an ordinary day in my hometown of Kashwan. Or at least I thought it was Kashwan. Am I saying that right? Kashwan? Kashuan? Whatever. I awoke that day to find myself alone. There was no one. It was almost like I had been left behind in some kind of rapture. And then, he showed up. Edge Geraldine. He told me that a dimensional rift had left people like him and I in strange doppelgangers of our worlds, but with no one else in them, separated from our friends and family for no reason. He promised me he would take me back to my world, but then... I am so sorry. I did not mean to be this late. Traffic was an absolute nightmare. Uh, sorry, dude. Wrong game. Looks like you missed your turn. Ah, uh, f***. Uh, I, I don't suppose you need a ninja on the team? Uh, we can all turn into ninjas whenever we want in this game, so... No. Sorry. Duh! Needless to say, I was a bit annoyed that we had seemingly skipped going back to my world. Hey, when are we getting to my game? Get back in the car! There was something off about Edge after that. The way he bashed his way into Planet R, killing that fire monster. He was panicked, but he assured me that we were going back to my world. He kept making strange phone calls every so often. And if I even asked who he was talking to, I was met with... GET BACK IN THE CAR! We made another pit stop, and this time things started to make a little more sense. He was after someone. Someone like us. I don't know why he insists on these dramatic flares. Man, I can't believe they never found me! I waited in so many forests! You think you're the only one left out of your parody? Huh? Who are you? My name is Edge Geraldine. <laughs> hey, shut up! This is serious! Okay, okay, but... What do you want with me? I'm here to talk to you about the Outcast Initiative. That's a stupid name. Wouldn't a smarter name be the Excluded Men? The Just In Case League? Fans' least favorite four? The Excludables? I got a whole bunch of these. Fine, whatever. You in or out? Subs on the Side Squad? Suicide Squad? Huh? Yes! Okay, whatever. Got it. Edge's promise weighed heavy on my mind, so I had to intervene. What the hell, man? This is Final Fantasy VII! We're five games away from mine and you're taking another detour? Oh my god, will you just stay in the goddamn car? I'm trying to do something over here. And again, the same. The stopwatch, man. You know, because you aren't included. So it's like you stopped. You know what? Just forget about it. No, wait! Yuffie joined our road trip, but the stuff Edge was telling her, this had become more than just a trip home. Things started to fall into place. We pulled up to the lunatic Pandora. Edge had intel that a time-traveling car was scheduled to turn up there. <laughs> I have Renoa strapped to my chest. You can't. You won't hurt me. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. We were after okay, someone guys, who could only be reached through time travel. What the? Squall, you've got to come with me. We Back climbed into the trunk of a DeLorean, yeah. 
even though the trunk on the DeLorean is actually under the hood of a car. But anyway, we bode our time. Our goal was to seize the DeLorean once Warrior lowered his guard. This is cozy. I was of course being sarcastic. This is the place. Wait, this is... Where it all started. Oh, this is right next to my game. I'll just get off here. Where do you think you're going? You're too deep in this now, Gordon. I'm Gordon, by the way. Oh yeah, I probably should have mentioned that. Yeah, my name's Gordon. <laughs> Duh, brain fart. Anywho, back to the story. There he is. Him? But he was a main character. He's not one of us. He had at least eight lines. He holds the key to all of this. The key? What key? Tell me your secrets! I'll tell you all about it in the car. Wait, where did it go? It was a joke prop. It popped out of existence when it filled its purpose as a Back to the Future parody. Ah, f***! Right, well this game had time travel. We'll figure something out. You grab his legs. Yuffie, you follow silently behind us. Edge was still being secretive about this whole thing. But whatever intel he received told him that this guy was crucial to the mission. I feel like you would have to have played the game and tried this game. It only took us 20 seconds. We turned into a canoe. Did you shut up? You suck and you die. I love you. I totally hit that. Gordon, pass me the Phoenix down. You don't have a Phoenix down. Oh, what? I told you to bring supplies. No, you didn't. You just yanked me off the street in your car and told me you were giving me a lift to my game. <laughs> I think you're exaggerating a bit there, Gordon. I am not. That's literally what happened. Guys, stop arguing. I have a revive material on me. Hold on. <laughs> You. You're the one we've been looking for. The one they call Thief, right? Yeah, what's it to you? <laughs> Wait. Thief? That's your real name? Well, actually, my real name is Vag Flaps. Ugh, yikes. Yeah, I'm not having a Vag Flaps on my team. Your team? What are you talking about? I'm putting together a team of people. A team of people who were wronged, just like you. But you, you're special. Oh, you were the first to be cast aside. But you were actually in the parody and had lines first. You hold the key to why we were rejected. What makes you special? What is your secret power? Well, I can turn into a canoe. That's great, so with that we can... Wait, what? I can turn into a canoe? Can't you? You can turn into a canoe. Oh, and I can also run away. God damn it, stop feeding me shit when I wanna piss! What does that even mean? It means stop giving me bullshit and tell me what I need to know! I don't know what you want from me. This is getting us nowhere. We should report back to HQ. Good idea. Gordon, kill him. What? Oh, God's sake, we're gonna revive him later on. He's used to this. No, come on, guys. I hate dying. Don't do this. Sorry, thief. Speaking of getting back to HQ, how are we gonna get back without time travel? Or your car? I've got someone working on it. Someone who should have been in these past two videos! Did you find it? Yeah, I got it. It's in Spira. I can get you guys here, but you have to hold up your end of the bargain, Edge. I haven't forgotten, Greg. This whole thing was getting crazy. I mean, first of all, we were dimension hopping in Edge's car. And now he had somehow traveled back in time and was stuck. But luckily, 
Gilgamesh, someone who has special time and space hopping powers, bailed us out. But what deal did he make with Edge? Why didn't he go and grab Fee for us? Something didn't add up. I didn't trust Gilgamesh, or Greg as Edge called him. But he was our only way out. Who else? You know, this only worked because I was retroactively added to Final Fantasy 1 in the Dawn of Souls remake. That's a useless piece of trivia, Greg. My baby! Oh, Daddy has missed you. I thought I would never find you again. You're lucky I was on standby where you left it back in Luna to Pandora. They wanted to tow it, but I moved it to Terra for you. And then Kuja shenanigans dumped it here. Thanks, Greg. You're the best. Now, about our deal. I'm working on it. Yuffie, revive the thief. Roger. No, not Roger. Thief. Don't... Don't make stupid jokes like that, man. Uh, oh, man. Dying sucks. Oh, no. Not you guys. Thief, I need you to think. Look inside your mind and unlock the power. The power to save us all from the void of unused characters. I'm telling you, I don't know what you're talking about. Listen here, you little bitch. I abandon everything for this quest. If you don't pull whatever power it is that you have out of your ass in the next five seconds, I'll- Okay, okay, look. It's not a power, it's a curse. They were going to wipe out all of our worlds unless we could amuse the gods. I did a terrible thing in order to spare us all. Gods? Well, our worlds, they're just playthings to amuse millions. Well, more like hundreds of thousands, but it's still a lot. What do you mean? Don't you get it? We are just jokes. Hollow jesters with glorified sentience. Pale imitations of legends. These worlds are satire. They are born and then destroyed when they fill their per- Oh no. We have to get out of here. What? Why? I have so many questions. This world is done for. They don't need it anymore. We have to go save the doctor. They'll be able to help. Um, doctor who? No, no. Not him. No, who? Who is the doctor? Someone doomed to the same fate as this world. Unless we save them. Quickly, into the car. Where are we going? Vana Diel! Where? I have literally never heard of that place. Is it in Dalmasca? It's Final Fantasy XI! We're going to Final Fantasy XI! Jeez, now someone else has to say something badass to leave this on a cliffhanger. It's time the outcasts become the incasts. No, that was lame. We'll leave Greg behind. He'll come up with something. Whoa, Greg! Cracking out on your promises again, Edge. No matter. I'll catch up with you. You can't escape me. I felt bad about leaving Greg behind, but Edge assured me he had dimension hopping powers and we didn't. And there also wasn't space for him in the car. I mean, in this art style, he's the same size as us, but in reality, he is massive. So I get it. Anyway, so that's the story so far. We're on our way to Vanna DL, which is in Final Fantasy XI apparently. Before the world of Spira was totally destroyed, we tried to look for survivors, but there was no one. We even made a pit stop in Gaia along the way, but it was all gone. Edge looked remorseful. Did we forget someone? What else isn't he telling us? And who is this doctor that Thief mentioned? Will I ever get home? My real home? And see Ferion and Maria and Guy? Only time will tell. But what I do know is, 
these guys? They're alright. Huh? What the? I'm trying to take a dump here. This whole video was an after credit scene. What, what more do you want? Oh my god, can't a ninja take a dump in peace? Go away. Gordon, did you use the last of the toilet paper again?